my name is Wafa Al-Husseini and today I'm, I'm presenting our uh, work on ontology mediated uh, query answering. This work was done with uh, Sheikh Ibrahim al vayer uh, François Guazdoué and Hélène Jodouin from the ERISA laboratory at the University of France. So in recent years, the use of semantic web data has been gaining popularity, especially for the real-life applications it has in information systems, journalism, life science, or medicine. And all of these applications require uh, asking semantic, uh, asking queries over semantic web data. Ah, okay. <laughs> so in this paper, we focus on ontology-mediated query answering, uh, which involves asking database-style queries over a knowledge base. Uh, a knowledge base which is made of uh, an application uh, domain knowledge or uh, an ontology and uh, an application, the application data or facts which are represented in a database. We consider OMQA via FOA writing specifically, uh, which is represented by the following figure. Given a query Q, which is asked on a knowledge base K made of an ontology O and a database D, FOA writing consists in reformulating the query Q by embedding the ontological knowledge from O into a query formulation QO. This query formulation can then be asked directly on the database to produce the final answer. However, this query formulation is uh, done with respect to the ontology only and does not take into consideration the data. Uh, so it can grow exponentially in the size of Q. So what we propose is to optimize uh, OMQA via FOA writing by making it data dependent. So the rest of the presentation will be as follows. We will uh, discuss some preliminaries, our optimization framework, the, the experimental results, and finally a conclusion and related work. First, the preliminaries. Uh, the knowledge bases we consider are formal representation of knowledge, which are composed of databases for the application data, and an ontology, which is a set of existential rules that holds on the data and models the application domain. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> normally we have a, an example of a knowledge base here, uh, which is made of an ontology and uh, and the database. I don't know what's going on with this uh, with this slide, uh, but basically I can explain what's supposed to be on the slide. On the ontology, we have uh, four rules or uh, uh, the constraints. Actually, we have three uh, fact generating rules or positive rules, which tell us that. Uh, here, the data is about uh, PhD students and researchers the, and the interactions between them. So uh, we have rules that tell us that uh, someone works with, uh, who works with uh, another person, uh, it's a symmetric relationship. We have a subsumption relationship. We have uh, uh, that a PhD student is necessarily uh, supervised by someone, uh, who, uh, by, by someone who exists in the database. So we have integrity constraints that are negative that tells us that someone who is supervised cannot also be a supervisor. And uh, we have in our database um, a set of uh, data such as terms are either constants, uh, for example, we have the researcher H and uh, F, or existential variables that model missing or unknown values uh, such as the variable uh, U. Uh, so, for our uh, knowledge basis, when performing OMQA via uh, FOA writing, we consider queries that are expressed as conjunctive queries and query formulations that are ex expressed as union of conjunctive queries, UCQs, union of semi-conjunctive queries, USCQs, and join of uh, unions of conjunctive queries, JUCQs. So if we go back to our previous example <laughs> and ask uh, the query that looks for people who are supervised and <laughs> who, um, who work with the researcher age. I'm sorry, it doesn't show correctly here. Uh, we get the following reformulations according to the languages of uh, UCQ, USCQ, and JUCQs. Uh, and uh, these three reformulations are actually syntactically different, but semantically equivalent. They represent different forms of union and joins of uh, conjunctive queries, and they compute the same answers over the knowledge base. So now for our optimization framework. So as 
we just saw a for writing consistent reformulating a uh, query with respect to the ontology and to a union or join of uh, conjunctive uh, <coughs> queries. Here, we uh, in this uh, figure, we can see that Q is reformulated with respect to O into N uh, queries. However, uh, these N queries represent all the possible ways that um, answers to the query Q can be stored in the database. But in practice, we uh, this actually accommodates to any knowledge base with any uh, any knowledge base that's consistent with uh, having any database instance. But in practice, we usually ask the query over one specific instance. So, for example, if you were to take the database D1, we can see that in this union, only the query Q4 actually returns an answer on this specific database. Similarly, if we take uh, database D2, we can see that only query Q3 and QN returns answers on the specific database instance. And the same for uh, database D3, where Q1, Q3, and Q4 returns answers on uh, the uh, database instance. So what we would like to do is to eliminate as many of these uh, empty uh, subqueries as possible from uh, our union. So uh, we would like to be able to remove these to produce a query which is contained in this union and that returns the same answers. And we would like to do it in a way which is efficient. So we would like to improve the time performance of uh, our query. So more specifically, we would like to devise an optimization framework that enjoys the following properties. For it uh, to be general, uh, to be used in as many FO writing settings as possible, to be correct, to compute the exact and complete answer set of the query, and to be effective, so to improve the query answering time performance. Oof. This can be formalized in the following problem statement, uh, where QK is the query optimization uh, of, our, uh, of the query formulation QO, which is computed using an omega optimization function that takes as input the summary S of a database to compute the optimized uh, query uh, formulation. Uh, in this uh, problem, we guarantee the generality because we use the language of union and joined of uh, conjunctive uh, query formulations. We guarantee the correctness because, uh, because uh, our uh, optimized query formulation computes the same answer set as uh, the, the original query formulation and it is contained in, uh, in this uh, query formulation. And finally, by using a summary, we actually uh, compute this optimized query formulation in a fast and efficient way which improves the, uh, uh, the time performance. So what is uh, the omega function? The omega function is uh, an optimization function uh, that rewrites a query formulation uh, from the bottom up by un identifying empty uh, sub-conjunctive uh, queries that have no answers on uh, the database. So for example, if we uh, find that a uh, conjunctive query from the bottom of uh, our union and join is empty, we remove it. When we remove all the conjunctive queries from a union, we remove the union operator as well. When we remove one part of a join, which is supposed to be a join here, uh, from a join uh, operator, we remove the whole uh, join operator and its uh, uh, sub uh, queries. So how can we do this uh, in a fast way? As mentioned earlier, we use a database summary. We consider database summaries that are uh, homomorphic approximations of a database, uh, and it guarantees us the following property. If a query has no answer on the summary, then for sure it has no answer on the database. So going back to our example, if we consider the following uh, homomorphism, where we map instances of uh, PhD students to uh, the constant P and instances of um, researchers to the constant R, we get the following uh, as a database summary. Uh, if we wanted to ask the following uh, query over our database, which looks for PhD students who uh, supervise the researcher age, uh, we would therefore first ask it on the summary this uh, query has no answer on the summary, so we know that uh, there's no need to ask it on the database, it is empty. This brings us to the following uh, theorem, which corresponds to the items one and two of our uh, problem, uh, which tells us that given a database and its summary S, 
and the query, which is a union and join of uh, conjunctive queries, the optimization of uh, a query formulation is uh, contained in this uh, in this query formulation, and it co generates the same answer set on uh, the database. So by going back to our example from earlier, uh, using our omega function, we are able to remove as many of the empty subqueries as possible. In this figure, only the queries in blue are the ones that return an answer over our uh, database. So using the summary, we are able to, uh, to remove many, but not all of the empty subqueries, because here we, uh, we trade the, uh, the efficiency for, uh, for the completeness of uh, removing the all of the subqueries. We performed some experiments over the LUBM uh, benchmarks. We uh, generated databases of sizes uh, 1 million to 150 million tuples. And uh, uh, we did experiments over uh, DB2, MySQL, and uh, PostgreSQL. We used uh, off the shelf uh, reformulation uh, query tools for uh, UCQ, USCQ, and uh, JUCQ and we used an efficient uh, hardware to perform our experiments. We made the following observations. Um, when, uh, when optimizing UCQs with respect to the summary, uh, we actually almost always significantly improve the time performance of uh, the original uh, query formulation. Uh, it's seen in green here on the figure, uh, by up to three orders of magnitude. Uh, when while when we uh, do this with respect to the database, we actually improve it uh, frequently only on smaller databases, not on uh, large data sets. When it comes to JUCQs, uh, which are in red, we frequently improve the time performance by uh, um, like around half the time, but up to one order of magnitude. And for uh, USCQs, which are in blue, uh, the query answering time performance is marginally affected. And this is due to uh, the the properties of the languages themselves. And the details of, about this can be seen in uh, our uh, article. Finally, uh, well, standard FOA writing in the literature is done, as uh, mentioned earlier, it is ontology dependent and data independent. So no one has uh, really uh, considered uh, doing the reformulation in uh, with respect to the data. So our framework introduces a data dependent, uh, dependent step, which is general, correct, and effective. And uh, database summaries have mainly been investigated for uh, the purpose of uh, data exploration and uh, data management optimization. So it has never been used for the specific uh, task of uh, identifying empty subqueries and reformulation. So to sum up, uh, we uh, proposed uh, an optimization framework for F4 writing, which uh, produces an optimized uh, query formulation um, of uh, uh, the original uh, query formulations, <laughs> which uses uh, summaries to compute the optimized version, and uh, which is uh, efficient because we, uh, we were able to improve uh, time performance of uh, our queries by up to three orders of magnitude. Some perspectives of the, our work is to study alternative uh, database summaries, to integrate uh, data-dependent optimization at reformulation time as well, and to consider uh, actual database constraints uh, instead of just uh, ontological uh, constraints. Thank you.